Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Technical Recap here. So, in this episode, I'm going to be covering Palantir and SoFi. So, first up, we have the one week chart for Palantir. And as you can see, the stock price is still moving in an upward direction. And what this um, forms here is that there is a bullish divergence with the stock price and the MACD. So, um, you know, that is a bullish sign. So, for the same period, um, the MACD is moving in a, a downwards direction while the stock price is moving up. And this is actually pretty strong for Palantir. I wouldn't be too worried about the stock price over the next few weeks unless something changes really, really drastically in the market, either due to um, interest rates or, um, you know, AI, something happens, right, which I, I don't see it. Um, then, you know, Palantir is likely to head up in the next few weeks here. So once we see that MACD start to decay towards the upside, it's likely we will start to see a pop in uh, Palantir's share price. And, you know, as of now, the RSI is stabilizing here at around um, 58, right? It's been slowly, you know, moving up and down over the last um, four or five weeks here. So what um, is going to change the RSI is going to be volume in the markets. Um, so let's move on to the four hour chart. And as you can see, we have once again, a very prominent support level at 16. So Palantir was not able to break out 16 despite trying um, four times. And the reason it failed on Friday is because we found out that, you know, AIP was not monetized yet. And um, because of that, we likely will not see a revenue boost for the next quarter. So that is why, you know, Palantir was not able to break out of 16 this week. And, you know, it looks like, you know, the RSI right now is a little bit bearish, but it has already stabilized. And, you know, once we zoom in a little bit further, we find that Palantir has formed some sort of base here. So, you know, once again, I, I wouldn't necessarily be too worried. I think if all else um, goes well on Monday, um, it's likely this support is going to hold, right? Um, so hopefully Monday isn't necessarily a bloodbath in the market. And if it isn't a bloodbath, then this support is um, going to hold. I I'm very sure of that, right? Um, we are already seeing the reversal of um, from the red candle here to the green here. So yeah, I, I think um, you know Palantir is going to hold this support. Um, don't quote me on that. I, I don't have a crystal ball. And if you can head back up to this trading range of 14, uh, 15, 45, and 16 again, then you know we are back in the uh, gladiator zone, I think. Um, so yeah, the MACD and the RSI for the one hour chart both complement each other. And they are both saying that it, uh, we are probably going to curl up, right? So next up, let's move on to SoFi here. So this is the one week chart for SoFi. And as you can see, SoFi has... Uh, still been curling up, albeit you know very slowly, and it's forming the same pattern as um, Palantir, which is a bullish divergence for the MACD. So for the uh, for the same period, the stock price has been moving up while the MACD has been curling down. So that is typically a bullish sign for the stock, and you know um, this is backed up by the fact that uh, Biden just um, released that uh, uh, student loan repayment plan. So. So far, it's going to get two quarters, um, sorry, two months of interest for the next quarter in their revenue. So that is going to boost their revenues. And I think that is also going to um, be reflected in their stock price, right? So there will be an upwards direction there. Um, RSI right now is about to cross here. So once that crosses, then we are probably going to see some sort of pop here, I think. Um, so let's go uh, move on to the four hour chart. And as you can see, there are a couple of levels here to look out for. First up, we have the support level, or uh, I would say this is a trading range more, more so than a support level, then, uh, well, of $8.80. So, you know, we are trying to see if that can hold here. And the other thing is with that, uh, once we zoom in a little bit further, there is a support um, of $8.88. Um, and the resistance here is going to be about 915 to 920. So, you know, the RSI for the four hour chart looks like we are still in a bullish direction. And the MACD is, uh, you know, albeit um, it's still decaying here, but, you know, once we zoom in, we find that there is a bullish divergence with the MACD on the one hour chart. So, you know, on the very short term, it doesn't necessarily look very bad either. Um, 
but you know, I think Monday's uh, uh volume is going to de- be uh determine a lot in the market. So um, you know, uh, I'll talk about that um um in uh, uh well a few seconds here. But um yeah, I, I'm not too worried about so far as well. I think um we are going to hit that nine t- uh fifteen again. We are not exactly very far off. We are just like seven cents off, and we are going to see if this can break out of here. So if this can break out of um here then it's likely uh you know we will see a higher price than um, 907 um and you know I, i'm i'm optimistic on uh so far right so um the other thing i want to talk about um if you're only here for penalty and so far that is your cue to leave but i do want to talk about the s p 500 as well so this is the finvis map over the last week so i want to see how the market is pricing in that cpi and as you can see, it isn't too bad. The overall market is down about 1.2%. Um, so SPY is down 1.2%. And we have a couple of sales here. Um, Netflix, you know, I, they are doing something with their subscriptions again. So that caused a sell-off. Um, Microsoft, Apple, and Nvidia all selling off because um, they were, you know, pretty much uh, overbought. Um, and you know a couple of other tech stocks related to them are also curling down very heavily um so it's possible you know they're pressing in less growth or the over the next few months here um just based off that cpi but uh we'll see so uh the other big sevens that are up are tesla amazon google and meta so you know they are actually um i think value plays right google is definitely a value play they have a very low PE um, and yeah Apple also has a very low PE but it looks like they aren't exactly innovating as fast anymore so their iPhone 15 is pretty much you know uh, very close to the iPhone 14 so that's why they are pressing in that um, Apple is not possibly growing um, too fast right so you know let's actually look at the S&P 500 here so um, over the last week uh, it is down 1.2 percent and you know that is a pretty um i would say large movement for spy but i wouldn't necessarily be too worried um looks like we are once again uh having some sort of support here so if this can hold it's very likely penalty and so far and the overall spec market is also going to hold right and yeah i am still optimistic on next week but we'll see if i'm correct or wrong and uh yeah I, i'm not really selling anything i am moving some money into treasuries uh but i think that's it so as always guys hope you guys enjoyed this week's um technical recap here i try to do this every week and um like and subscribe